Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Buds. I'm Kurt. I'm Billy. And we're going to drink whiskey. Yeah, that's what we do now. <laughs> that's it. Like, it's we no still... longer a hundred whiskey journey. It's just, no. eh, we're here just to drink whiskey. Here, here we are just with one whiskey after another um, till we figure out some other, I don't know, structure to the show. Mm -hmm. It's just two dudes drinking whiskey. It's probably should be kind of what it's been the whole time, but whatever. <laughs> hey, we, we had purpose before. Now we're we're ambling and we're just grabbing a whiskey. Like it, there was oh, okay. There was a goal before. Now there's not. All right. Well, the purpose of this show is to try a whiskey. I think we're gonna do this one. A Denver whiskey, Colorado whiskey, Laws Whiskey House. We've actually I, you haven't, but I've been to that distillery. No, oh, yeah. Yep. I don't think we've had any laws on the show at all. It's kind of surprising. Well, it's so professional. They, uh, they're they pretty good about their whiskeys, I'll tell you that. Like, they tend to be very exacting with them, from what I gather. So uh, if I don't give them a good review on this show, they might send me a lawsuit. I doubt it. <laughs> They'd have to watch the show first. <laughs> I just assume everybody watches it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, we went to the distillery with Gary. This one? Yeah. Do you like it? Yep. We all took home a bottle of one of their whiskeys that uh, they only had. It was a four grain, like this, but it was aged oh, in pork yeah. casks and uh they were down to like three bottles left so there was us gary and then somebody else I'm trying to remember who but none of the bottles uh, those three bottles were gone that night i still have it sitting upstairs still unopened we didn't try <laughs> it on the show so anyways this is a four grain straight bourbon um one of the few bourbons that is going with four grains, not just your typical three of being your corn, barley, and wheat or and or rye. But I don't know what the four four grains are. I didn't tell you? No. It might. I know corn's got to be on there because it's bourbon. Heavily charred 53-gallon white oak barrels. So heavily charred, so that could be reminiscent of like a Wild Turkey 101, which uses a char number four, which is the heaviest char. And yeah, so expect say. more like caramel notes out of it, more vanilla, that kind of thing. I think more vanilla out of the chard. And this, I believe, is a store pick. No, I guess it's not. It's just the cask strength. So it's 57.7%. Uh, yeah, it smells like the vanilla and oak juice to me. Yeah, <laughs> it should be pretty stout. stout. Yeah. And what proof is it? I don't know, what's 57 times 2? 57? Yeah. It's like 115 proof. This is, yep, strong boy right there. Yeah. It, it, it has to be. Look at that bottle. Like I, I, know. I do. I like that bottle a lot. It's like just a pretty beefy full, bottle. Yeah. Yeah. And then it, what's nice is we were talking about the Willet few weeks ago right with that weird bottle shape that'll fit on the shelf nicely you could even stack those <laughs> yeah, almost, you really could like the top of that thing you could well that too but i mean like you know it's a square bottle you could tetris i had to stack one i was willing to let tip over right <laughs> i do like it but you know it made me nervous. It wasn't even my whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. Does it smell good? Oak juice, mm -hmm. vanilla oak juice. Ooh, boy. Mm. Ooh, wow. Oh, caramel. <sighs> yeah. Vanilla. Mm hmm. It kind of just like numbs the tongue. It's kind of like they pull your tongue out of your mouth and slap it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of do that's know. about what it feels like <laughs> yep with 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 vanilla and caramel yeah <laughs> that's they get their hand is. all leathered up and vanilla and caramel yeah they just dip out. it in a yeah and then they <laughs> smack <laughs> yep that's what drinking this is like whoa well 
Yeah, it's good Ooh, stuff. Boy. Okay, it's really strong with the alcohol, but they do a good job of, of covering it up, mm -hmm. kind of. <laughs> well, it tastes good. Yeah, and the flavors are there to, to cover the, the heavy uh, proof, mm -hmm. which we've s said in a few episodes where some of the whiskeys that are high proof just, they don't quite cover it up well enough. Whew, that stuff. That's, yeah, that, that's strong enough, like it's warm in the belly. <laughs> yeah. Like... That's definitely an easy sipper. It's good. It tastes good. It's yep. got a good aftertaste. It does. And it lingers. Like, it's got a long finish on it. Mm -hmm. So there's really no reason to be drinking it very fast. Could you imagine taking a shot of that? Like a full one ounce pour, which, like, what you had in your glass was maybe a half ounce. So imagine double that and just shoot it all in one go. That'd be like belly flopping from a... High diving board. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth open. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you have to make that the thumbnail now. <laughs> into, <laughs> into, into the vat of caramel and vanilla. How much is this? I think I paid $60 for it, if I remember right. Might have been $70. i would say that's a good deal for this. It's going to last a while, right? You better. I mean... Normally, I'm taking sips at this, but, like... Yeah, because holy kidneys, if you ever drink a lot of that. That's holy liver. <laughs> All right. What do your kidneys do? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Shoot, I, can't, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, if you're in a Colorado area and you don't know law as well, you better... Um, Go down to the go down to the distillery. Tell them we sent you. Mm -hmm. That way we can finally get these distilleries to know who we are. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like this. Yeah, it's good, huh? Yeah. Uh, we got a couple more of their bottles. It's really strong, though. It is like, like. <laughs> it's it's you got to be nice and gentle with that. Like, yeah, it's good flavor. So, nothing, so that's nothing's it. too overwhelming in it. It's just. No, yeah, get yourself your cask strength four grain bourbon, or even just the regular bourbon. I had their Sakali rye. Um, sorry, you never got to try it. <laughs> I, that bottle was gone before Billy gave, got a chance to try it, but uh, that was really good. And their four grain stuff is pretty good. You know, like just normal four grain, I like that. And then that port cask, that was good. <coughs> Don't inhale the whiskey. So... Um, <laughs> on behalf of Billy, join us next week <laughs> when, when we have something, um, hopefully, so strong. <laughs> something that he can handle. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I think I just coughed up my liver. <laughs> <laughs>